It's August 22, 2018. Finally, the day for the move of the Denver and Rio Grande Western Tunnel Motor onto the grounds of the Colorado Railroad Museum is here. It's been eight years since the day in July 2010 when the Colorado Railroad Museum made a request of the Union Pacific to consider donating the unit UP9871. This was a former Denver and Rio Grande Western diesel electric tunnel motor built in 1980. These locomotives were the premier heavy diesel power for the Class 1 DNRGW Railroad. They represented the ultimate in locomotive development and they were among the last new locomotives purchased by the DNRGW. This locomotive spent a large part of its life working in the mountains of Colorado on different types of trains. This unit is an electromotive diesel SD40T-2 and is a model that was specifically designed and built to deal with tunnel cooling issues. A total of 312 of these locomotives were built for the Denver and Rio Grande Western and the Southern Pacific. These engines feature large cooling intakes near walkway level at the back of the unit which allowed large amounts of cool air to be pulled from low in the tunnel rather than running heated air contaminated with exhaust gases from the upper part of the tunnel through the radiator. This unit was built by General Motors Electromotive Division for North American Railroads between April 1974 and July 1980. It is a six-axle diesel-electric having a 16-cylinder EMD 645E3 diesel engine producing 3,600 horsepower. Top speed is 65 miles an hour. The Rio Grande's version had a 4,000 gallon fuel tank and is 70 feet 8 inches long and weighs about 368,000 pounds. If you're going to the store to get oil for an oil change, it takes 1,580 quarts. The move was accomplished by Hulcher Services. As you can see in the picture, they had lots of men and equipment. From the rail crossing on West 44th Avenue to the front gate of the museum is about 1,150 feet. Once inside the gate, the locomotive had to be maneuvered to get it onto the museum track near the turntable at the roundhouse. Actual time from start to finish was about six hours. <laughs>